Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. What up? How are you guys doing? Man, today is gonna be fun. Uh, we're hot off the heels of this last building. This building was amazing. If you guys wanna check that out, we did a little medieval in on the last episode of Building with Sausage and I loved it. It's fantastic and you guys loved it too. But today we're gonna keep up almost a similar theme, but I'm got, I got some ideas for you. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and start this up right now. But before we do, if you guys wanna check out any of the previous builds we have behind them, you guys so many down that road, just check the link. In the description is a whole playlist full of hundreds and hundreds. I don't know how many hundred, a lot of builds back there. If you guys want to check them out, and also we're using our boy Jersey Boys texture pack. If you guys want to use that pack, it's so fantastic. My favorite vanilla in the history of vanilla packs. Just go ahead, download it. There's a link in the description as well. And today we're gonna be doing a lovely medieval style townhouse. I'm gonna build one, okay? We'll build it together, and then I'll stack a couple side by side so you can see how cool it looks right next to each other. Uh, but it's so cool, come on, come with me, let's build it together. Uh, so these are the materials we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using some cobble, some regular stone with monster eggs. No, it's just a regular stone. Uh, and then we got stone bricks, uh, stone brick stairs, some regular oak wood, uh, oak wood stairs, oak wood planks, and some spruce, okay? And we might change some stuff up, so let's just do it. I'm gonna line it up right here because I love lining it up. All right, so on the bottom, I'm gonna be using a primary stone uh, uh, base, a uh, foundation, okay? It's gonna be cool, and it's gonna be a small townhouse, so it's gonna be easy to replicate, and you can add it to your world. So, first block of the day, right there. Let's go. Now, I'm gonna use cobble as our main uh, source, and then I'm gonna be texturing in with some stone as a brick as we go along. Uh, so for now, let's just do it. So from here, I'm gonna go one here, one, two, three, four, five. Six and a seven, that's it. Seven long, that's it. So right here we're gonna go from, this is one, two, three, four, and a five. So it's very small and sexy, look at this. So it's just gonna be a five by seven right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, by one, two, three, four, five. And you know what, yes, I'm going around the circle. Let's keep going, let's go up in a circle about, I say four times, let's do a four, four high right here. So a four high right about there, looks lovely. There we go, and there we go. There we go, okay, perfect. Now, let's do a quick texture job. For texture it, I just go random. I just go random, and look, the, th the the lovely thing about Germ's texture pack, look at that, it fades in like that. The connected textures with Optifine makes it lovely. So I'm just gonna pop in a few of these. Uh, no specific order or reason for it, just pop them in, make it look cool, make it look random, don't make it look like there's a pattern going on, and it makes it look cool. Oh man, I love it when I mix textures like this. Gradients are really, really fun, especially when you don't want to get bored with just one um, uh, solid color, just change it up a little bit, you know, like a natural uh, uh, break it upage, if that's a word, I just made it up, it's fine, um, of, <laughs> of textures, it makes it look cool. So we're gonna be taking some in, taking some out, putting some around, and moving it around. I think cobble's gonna be the primary block, so you can is pretty cool um let's see maybe another one right here there it is so you see more cobble than anything uh but do break it up a little bit just like that maybe one more up there oh look at that look at that see isn't that better than just one solid uh block just just all cobble or just all stone isn't that cool all right cool yeah i know thank you okay now this is what we're gonna do uh as we keep going up uh i want to do uh this right here so come with me i'm gonna make this a straight line okay if we had it by ourselves like it's just one building alone i might come out like this and do like a little uh, border just like that all the way around but since it's gonna be in a row i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna just pop it right here straight just a placeholder okay but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let it go out one on this side and I'm gonna let it go out one on this side so it's gonna keep going like a little stair pattern uh, we're gonna do a three story so we're gonna uh, pretty much just keep pillaring up uh, and keep sticking out by one on each time but see I, on this outside I wouldn't take it that far so I would just go like this placeholder boom and boom so just like that one little overhang like this so we're gonna do two overhangs this is gonna be a two story uh, well three story technically so right there boom pop out on this side and then we have this thing flush on this side so we could connect a, another house to the side so cool we got that all right now uh, I want to do a little way in so let's just pop a door right here and I'm gonna make it into just uh, so you have to step up at least one so let's put a quick little stair right there uh, you know what I'm gonna do too let's grab um, some cobble like that okay uh, and then I'm gonna do a little something here but before we do let's get some spruce uh, and I'm gonna do a little overhang here, but to make it a little special, I kind of did this kind of style in our single player world. So I do a little uh, a, one down here, one down here of the log. And underneath this, I'm gonna grab spruce and put a stair going down like that. And then I'm gonna put a stair here and here. Look at that, that's a cool style, isn't that nice? Okay, now, I'm gonna go ahead, right on top of this, let's grab a slab, uh, and I'm just gonna put a slab of this bad boy, just like that, and like that, just a little step up, and that's perfect, so that's all we need for this. Actually, for right here, um, what, do I wanna put it upside down the stairs? Actually, no, let's leave it just like that, so that's your front, and now let's go to the back and repeat the same pattern. So we're gonna go down here, 
here and then we're gonna put our spruce here oh not there here like that okay back here uh we can put either a window or a back door for now let's just put a small window right there that should be perfect and this time i am going to put a little stair on the bottom but i'm going to leave it flush on the top like that with a full block perfect okay now let's go up to the next level for the next level i'm going to start from right in this angle so from this block right here you see this goes down we're also going to put one going up and this we're going to go up by five so one two three four five one two three four five again on this side perfect come on me we're gonna go around this way so one two three four five and we're gonna do a one two three four five and then we're cross beaming that cross beaming this on this side and we're gonna do another cross beam over here on uh, without messing up on this side perfect and then one more right here look how cool bam okay so we have this going now what i want to do is i want to bring some white now you can use any of the white blocks we got man we got a lot we got either white wool we can use white terracotta we can use the white concrete we can use the white concrete powder we can even use the white glazed terracotta but i ain't gonna do it because i am i'm not gonna i'm just not uh but you know what i want to do i kind of like um the way the white terracotta is kind of like uh creamy looking so it looks kind of cool i love a little bit of cream in my life so let's do this i'm gonna go right here uh we're gonna do actually for this part like see you know what let's mm, mm, uh, you know leave this open i got an idea for this front i got an idea just come into me so right here we're gonna almost make this like a little tutor style uh you're really not gonna see this part because of the um it's gonna be blocked off but <laughs> it's fine you're gonna see it on this side so keep it up like that and then we're gonna cover this part up right there with the white terracotta and if you want you can even mix it like a gradient with the white terracotta and maybe even the wool the white terracotta and the white um concrete powder or white you can mix them if you want or even bring the bone block or even the quartz but quartz is too expensive this is a little cheaper uh so we got this all right now for this part right here actually um let's do this i'm gonna do something sexy here let's do a little upside down stair here in the middle let's put some slabs okay i'm gonna make like a little bay type window uh so let's do this right here so one of these right here and one of those okay so we got that little overhang now let's get glass we can do any glass i love the yellow and jeremy pack so i'm using yellow don't scream at me if you don't like yellow i love it so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put yellow in here like that i'm gonna put yellow in here like this i'm gonna put yellow in here like this look at this window look at that window that might be a little bit too high though hmm. let me think about this how about we do this take these out maybe put a little wood base like that oh i love that love, 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 love it baby i don't know let's see and then do something like maybe something like that okay that actually i love that look okay i like it that's a little higher like this this is really cool so let's grab the glass again and then i'm gonna grab this yellow and then we're gonna do a little something something like this a little something something like that there we go that is really cool look at that i love this so much okay cool now what we're gonna do is right on the top let's grab the uh slabs like so i think i want to put right in the middle a stair there we go we can do it like that or we can even do it like this i think this is probably a little better there we go that's it right there cool so for this part i'm gonna leave it like that for the back i'm just gonna close it up like this and then we can just do bam 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 and then bring in the yellow like so perfect oh man okay here we go we got that flush we got that section we got this here over there oh that's so cool uh now let's do the next level for the next level we're gonna pop out here pop out here look at that how cool uh underneath here we're gonna go down Ooh, actually it's gonna mess with our flow there if we do that because of the glass so what we could do is um let's do this let's do this i got this okay so let's pop this out one more here okay pop this out one more here i think that's gonna do it uh let's see and then we got down and then down right there okay let's grab that stair again oh perfect there we go so do that now we're gonna come down this way let's see hold on let's see let's see let's see actually let's do it like this perfect watch like that okay yes yeah 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 yeah. now what we're gonna do is come with me over here on this way uh let's go stair again stair again popping down uh, out sorry out and out perfect just like that and then let's start going up let's see hold on let me make sure this is okay oh hold on let's pop this straight this way pop this straight this way now we're gonna go start going up from right here in this corner all right ready watch this so from here go one two three four one two three four let's go again over here one two three four one two three four 
uh, we're gonna do under here, do a little uh, a little cross beam like that. Look how cool. Come over here, let's do another cross beam. We're gonna lift it up right on this side, right here. And it leaves that room right there for that perfect. Oh, that's so cool, I love that. Okay, now, this is what we're gonna do. This is gonna be a little smaller than the top. So let's do this, one, two, three. And then let's go up one more and cross beam. And we got that look, okay? One more time. Here, here, cross beam. Cross beam right here and cross beam right on this side. Perfect, okay, now we got that. Let's go inside here. Now we're gonna add uh, the two terracotta here, two terracotta here. We have one small window right in the middle. Let's grab that, bam, bam, okay. Come with me, we're gonna repeat the pattern on the back. We're gonna go right up the middle, bam, bam, bam. Put a little white uh, terracotta here, 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 and here. Drop in our little glass right there, right there. Perfect, all right, look at this. Now, let's repeat the same thing, but now, you see it kinda like, it's at a different angle, so now the white is is between this section and this section. It's, it's cool, it just makes it a little different, but similar at the same time. Uh, and then grab this, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, and lift it up. Perfect, so we got this flush on this side, come with me over here, let's do it again. So right here, go up, make the little tutor blockage all the way up. And then if you want, you don't have to use the white either. You don't have to use the white terracotta. You know what you can do? You can do what we did over here. We use the sandstone. That's also a pretty good look to it. Or you can even use wood. You can mix and match, do your own style, play around with it, have fun. Uh, that's all, that's what it's about, right? All right, now we got this. This is looking super cool. Oh man, that is awesome. You know what I might do just to give it, see, we see I have these little pop outs. I might take this out and flush it down. Let's flush it. <laughs> Let's flush it down. See, it little, looks a little cleaner. I like that. Even though I'm a fan of the pop-out logs, I think if we put it down flush like this, it might actually look a little cooler. Look at that. All right, cool. Now, another thing I want to do is right here. Uh, let's keep the style of what we did here. Let's do some upside down stairs right there. Uh, that's looking very nice. What we could do, since we, we took away those other ones over here, we could put a little pop-out log here, make it a little different, just like that. The front, we can't do it because we got uh, the bay window, uh, but that's fine. That's also cool. Now, last but not least, we're going to do a little roof. Now, for the roof, I'm going to mix in the spruce and I'm gonna mix in uh, the oak wood so um, out, outer uh, edge we're gonna do is is with spruce for sure with spruce so we're gonna go bum 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 and go all the way down like this boom and then this one we're gonna make it uh, we're gonna make it cool watch this let's go all the way down I'll show you how we're doing this now pop it out upside down stairs on both sides what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lift this up by one block on each side just to give it a little bit more roof on the tippy top and then here we're just gonna bring it down normally like that that is pretty cool actually you know what i want i feel like going a little more uh yeah what i want hold on let's now let's make it normal medieval let's not go fantasy with it because if we do the big 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 roof it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit too crazy let's go normal let's go normal what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a design on the top and make it sexy so uh let's just do that for now yeah, let's make it. Let's make it normal. <laughs> let's make it normal. If anything, we'll do a, a different style, more fantasy. Uh, popping roofs everywhere, make it a little taller, go crazy. But no, let's let's go normal. Let's go normal. So we're gonna. And if you want, you can modify it as you as you see fit. You can change the roof style, go crazy. But for now, let's make it plain. Let's do it almost like this style. We'll break it up like we did over there. Uh, so something like that, something like that. And then on the inside, we're gonna go with regular spruce. Oh, not spruce. Sorry, well, spruce on the outside and oak in the middle. So like this, going all the way down like so and then I'll, I'll come back in here and i'll break it up like we did on the other one so make it cool and then you know what once we finish this little part i'll go off cami cam and i'll stack a couple i'll stack two more uh next to it so it's a, th a row of three now for up here let's grab uh slabs like so and then we'll just run a line all the way down oops all the way down like so perfect now in this little piece here i'm gonna make it simple one line one little log straight up in the, in the middle right here and let's grab a little piece of white right there a little piece of right right there uh actually you know what that is awesome i love that let's do it again on this side so coming down we're gonna do a little thing here a little thing right there pop this down down perfecto there it is there it is okay this is super cool now let's grab some trap doors let's detail this up just a bit trap doors i'm gonna put them let's put them like let's you know what i'm gonna put them like this Oh, I love that. Let's go ahead and do that. On this side, we're gonna do it also right there and there. So you can tell a little shutter shutting down. Here, we're gonna drop two more on this side. Mm-hmm. Let's grab some buttons, our favorite neighborhood button. It's like Spider-Man, but out of, made out of stone. Uh, let's go all the way around this way. And another one, uh, actually, this one doesn't have any. This one doesn't have any, so it, let me see something. 
let's do it let's let's make this happen just so we can have oh sorry and so we can pop it out here too right there and right there yeah that makes sense so you have some on each side perfect okay you know what this is pretty close to being done the only thing i would do now is on the tippy 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 top 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 let's just break up some of these i'm gonna put some full blocks just so it could be a little bit broken in like that that looks really cool something like that just a little bit just to give it a little taste of breakage like that so it's not so plain and then on the top also uh let's grab a little bit of spruce and then we can mix it up something like that so it's all broken we could if we really wanted to make a pattern out of it if you want but i think that is a really cool pattern. i actually like that pattern though okay i'm gonna keep that pattern uh but then on the other sides here i'm just gonna mix these in with a couple full blocks just so it could look a little beat up uh something like so maybe one two here and then uh one over here in the corner there that's cool right there that's super awesome there it is that's nice Oh man, what do you guys think? Isn't that amazing? Now, another thing you could do, if you ever have a flush wall on one side, okay, just pretend. Let's say we're gonna stack a row all the way down here, maybe like four, five, six, seven houses like this. If you have a flush end like this, I'm gonna give you an example of what you could do. Uh, if you really wanna get crazy with it, you can go ahead and do like a stair. Uh, so this bottom floor is only used by like one person. You could block off the next one and then maybe even do a little stair going up over here, going up to the top going up to the next section which will probably be right there uh if you want to so let's give you a little example what you can do here uh let's see what i would do on this side you know what i would flush this out like that maybe even do a little something like this uh and then bring in uh, a door right about there upside down stair door bam inside there you go and then to if you want just do like a little railing here so you do not fall down something like this and you can make it a two high you don't have to make it a one but something like this stack it going down like so that looks pretty cool you know what i would even just close all this watch this this is what i would do close all this up with trap doors maybe uh if you want you can make like a little hidden storage right here if you want i don't know uh, something like this maybe close it off maybe you don't even need any of these uh, stones on the side I could just close all this off next thing watch this something like that and then maybe do a little door right there that would be kind of cool I don't know uh, maybe you stack it up just a little more just so you don't fall down I wouldn't put any um, fences here I would just do something like this so you could just play around with that oh hello there you go something like that isn't that cool and you just go up the stair, bam! And you have like a little door here. You can even put a door uh, if you want. And if you do spruce, especially when we're coming up in 113, because right now I'm in 112, but Jersey Pack, the trap door is the spruce door. Uh, but later on, you're gonna have the uh, same trap door for spruce. And then that, look at that, how hidden. And you can definitely do that. Uh, I would then maybe pop in some windows here on this side, just to give it a little cool little look. I might even do a little overhang here. Nothing too crazy, maybe just something like this. Something like that, a little overhang, and maybe with a fence, uh, just drop right here. Maybe a little, uh, maybe a little spruce fence is fine. Do a little spruce fence like that. <clears throat> I don't think you could get in with that fence there. Though. Oh no, you could. Perfect. Uh, so let, let something like that, and then if you want, just go ahead, just make it simple. Go pop in a couple windows here and there. Uh, and then that's how you would probably just flush out this side, make it a little cooler, a little more worth looking at. There, just one flat wall, maybe something like that. And if you want, you can always put uh, shutters on the side. Like if you want to do it like this also, uh, I wouldn't be mad at you, you could do it. This is actually one of my go-to shutters like that. Uh, but I, I'm just gonna play around with it and do something like this. There, and that's just one side done. But let's take a quick little spin. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out right here. And then let me add a couple on the sides here. I might even change maybe the color palette of the roof just so it could be a little different but keeping the same theme maybe change the windows or something like that so super simple but let me go ahead and do that you can see how this row uh is gonna come out give me a second look at this thing isn't this cool i love it all right we're completely done i added two more on the side mirror them all together change a little bit of the colors and a little bit of the wood types but it's pretty much all the same row house let me flip let me show you here it is bam look how cool there it is so we got yellow we got a blue and we got a, a red uh window so let's see really the main difference is I also changed up the wood types um, so this was uh, the regular oak this was spruce and I added dark oak just like that 
look how cool. So it all mirrors. Uh, kept the same um, uh, Tudor block with the white and also the same roof type. So it's all blend together. And look how cool it looks like that when we break it up like that. It gives it a cool little look on the roof. Uh, but let's take a little spin. Also added this little path uh, kind of looking thing. If you put it in the main town, uh, everything is mirrored. Though. Look how cool. Look at that. Uh, also added on this side, the same thing we did on the other side with the little stairway to get up. And then the windows are pretty much placed the same. But you can modify it, change it as you go along. It's very cool. Uh, as far as interior, I didn't do like interior work. But I'll show you how we pretty much set these up. Uh, so right here, I just did cross beams on the top. Slab on that in between each cross beam. And you got a lot of space here. So the downstairs could be like a little kitchen area. Uh, if you want to go up the stairs, coming on up this way. And then bam. Same thing, cross beams on all. Everywhere that there's a uh, a log that's going down, I cross beamed it, so make it a lot easier. And then uh, slabs right on in between. Ladder to get to the top to maximize the space inside. And again, uh, here we did the same thing, cross beams on the top, slabs there to separate it. Uh, over here, I, I wanted to put um, uh, like a little divider because technically right here is just a cross beam. And uh, if you just put this by itself like that, it looked kind of plain and boring. Uh, so look at that, see it's like with this back part. So what I did was I just threw some stairs going down you can use them as seats uh, put a little post there with a little slab on top so it looks pretty cool uh, divided the room here so you can have a little area here a little bedroom area here and then for the next area uh, to get up to the top uh, you can you can go really anywhere actually I don't think I set this up let me do it right here this is an easy spot I think I did it on the other ones uh, so right here boom you can have a little way up to get to the next section uh, and then also bring in the trap door and then you can come up top like this and then this is very small there's not a lot of space here so if you want to grab a little torch at torch uh, this side you can literally use a storage uh, because since all of these are more well, most of these are stairs um, just make sure you pick the right one that has stairs and you can just put uh, all the way line the whole bottom up here uh, with um, some uh, chests so it could be a little storage room at the attic uh, right there but man I love this little spot there you go that's all there is to it i pretty much mirrored all of the other ones um the only that's uh, one that's different is the middle one since we didn't have a stair to get to the second floor uh i put a little section here uh just for a ladder right on the side but everything else is pretty much the same a uh, little breakup job in the middle a little ladder to get up to the tippy top here so this is the one that's just a little different just because it's the middle uh and then ladder again to get to the top part here uh, room dividers you can set it up anywhere as long as you set them up wherever there's no um, windows but this isn't you don't have to worry about windows on the right or the left side uh, so that's also a cool thing another thing you could do which I was just thinking about since the left and the right if you have any middle buildings and you want to maximize your space you could take these out and use the walls from next door uh, and then you have a lot more space like check this out you can use the walls from next door, but you can only do it every so often because if you do it for all of them, then you're technically going to be going next door to everybody. Or you can make one big giant house, just connect them all together. But every once in a while, let's say you do just three like this, one on the side, uh, and then there's a middle part. You can maximize space by knocking these walls down and using the next door walls. Uh, but yeah, just an example, just a little idea. Uh, but that's it. <laughs> what do you guys think? Look at this thing. I love this. Man, let's take one more little spin. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this little episode. Man, I got a couple other builds lined up. We got a bunch of uh, our friends from other episodes giving us uh, a, like ideas for other builds. So I got a whole list lined up for stuff we're going to do. But if you got any ideas though of any other builds you want me to try out, uh, just let me know in the comments. I might do it in one of the upcoming episodes. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I'll catch you on the next episode of Building with Houses. See you guys later.